Don's Fairlane. We built the engine for five years ago. It's a Ford Cleveland, obviously. Um, CHI heads down there. Full ice ignition system. A uh, 670 Street Avenger. Might be a 770 Street Avenger. Can't remember. Five years ago, so. But anyway, uh, we had the box rebuilt then. Pulled the ball corner out, put a nine inch in it, disc brakes, it was drum. We switched to disc. Um, what else did we do? We had the engine bay painted back then. Um, upgraded all the air conditioner to modern gear so it all works really good. Yeah, so that was all done five years ago. It's just in for a bit of a service and tune up and check up and um, a few other little jobs being fixed. Just gave it a little bit of a hit on the dyno. See what she's still doing. So after a bit of a hit on the dyno, making 392 horsepower, 376 foot pounds at the wheels. It's not too shabby at all. Very cool streeter. Fire it up. Also just upgraded the stereo system in it uh, to a retro sound so it all looks original in the dash but it's actually a, uh, a modern unit with um, uh, Bluetooth and USB and all that gear and an electric aerial so when he puts it away in the shed Don't have to worry about pushing the aerial down, you can just let it go down and put the cover on. Another thing we've done, one of the things we're fixing, it's a pretty cool little job. Just turn the light on, there we go. This uh this mirror adjusting knob for adjusting the mirror here um, was snapped off down down in there. So what was left um the knobs are one piece, so you can't just get another one and replace it. It's snapped off, it's snapped off. So what the base that was left, we drilled it and tapped it, and then we sort of made up a design which is similar to the to the knobs there. And uh, took it around to JMR Engineering, and they machined up a new one on their CNC lathe. And then we screwed it in there, as you can see, with a bit of uh, Loctite, so it's not going to come out. And uh, he has a knob again. <laughs>